27, it feels like old as fuck to a 27 year old. But to somebody that's 40, or somebody's in their 30s, they're like, you're so fucking young. And I'm like, am I young? Because I feel old as hell. Like, I feel like I'm old as fuck and I should have my life together by now. And I don't. Is this what God had for me? Is this what, is this it? Am I supposed to stay in the military? Or am I supposed to get out? Like, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with my life. I feel like I'm in a midlife crisis. Got it, girl, you got it. chat get ready with me i'm about to go um to eat and i decided i just want to record a video today i am using my canon uh t6i i'm using the 50 mm 50 mm lens so you guys are up close and personal all of my personal business period but it's going to be more of a makeup video so i got i want you guys to be able to see what i was doing and i just got my canon back so i was excited to use it if i keep looking to the right it's because I haven't vlogged, I haven't did sit down videos in a while, so it's kind of hard for me to get in the swing of not looking that way and looking this way, so I might end up looking that way. Um, but yeah, I'm just pretty much going to do, um, I don't know what kind of beat. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a neutral beat because my outfit is pretty loud. As you see, it's red and purple. It is a jumpsuit. Um, yeah, also if you hear like the noise, it's because this one, when it focuses, it does change. Sorry if that bugs you a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off the camera because it takes me a bit while, a bit while, it takes me a while to do my eyebrows. And then we're just going to chit chat and have a little girl talk. We'll see how long I can keep talking. People that can get on YouTube and just talk their whole way through makeup are blessed. Like Jayla Majette and Tierra Walker, they can just talk to you. Oh, and so Arnell and Alyssa, they can just sit there and talk their whole time. Like I don't have that much stuff to say. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's been a while, like years at this point since I've done a makeup tutorial or makeup video. But yeah, so to do my eyebrows, y'all, I am going to be using my dip brow from my collection. If you guys didn't know, I do sell um, makeup, Sweet Cooler Cosmetics, SweetCoolerCollection.com is my stuff. If you want to look me up, um, I'm about to do a relaunch. Um, well, I'm not about to do. I'm doing a relaunch very soon, so just stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter so you can be notified when my new products do drop but yeah so we're just gonna get right into it and i'm gonna do my eyebrows off the camera and i will be back so hopefully the lighting is good y'all like i said it's kind of rusty um but yeah if i'm looking this way it's because i'm looking at the mirror ignore my wig because it is not on my head i just kind of threw it on here um to go ahead and do this video i'm gonna fix it afterwards so you guys will get a full 360 i'm gonna switch to my vlog camera once i'm done but yeah i went ahead and do my eyebrows off the camera they're not the best i really need my eyebrows done but the last time i got my eyebrows done the ladies cut half of my brow off, so I'm waiting for them to grow back. And yeah, I got hair all under here. So they kind of on the thick side, kind of on the dark side. But it is what it is. We're going to get it done. But yeah, I don't really know what the hell I want to talk about. I just know that I wanted to record a video and do my makeup because it's been a while since I've done my makeup on camera. I'm using the Stay Naked Foundation by, who's this? I think Urban Decay. And I'm going to mix it with the L'Oreal Paris um infallible makeup because this is like my winter shade or like spring before it gets hot whatever and it's like my summer shade but i haven't been in the sun that much so sometimes when i put this one it gets a little too light and sometimes when i wear this one it's a little too dark so i'm just gonna mix these two together and we're just gonna let it do what it does period so let's just do that but yeah i pretty much just wanted to do like a little chit chat get ready with me um i guess talk about anything really what i really want to talk about is like two things um excuse my dirty ass beauty blender because i don't even know where the hell my brush is at is right now my face brush i need new brushes so we're just gonna act like y'all don't see this dirty ass beauty blender but it's one of them days okay and i have to be somewhere and it's raining outside i'm fucking pissed i have been i need to leave my house in an hour so i don't have time i don't have time don't judge me it is what it is but um yeah this pretty much is gonna be a basic makeup look um, and I'm not really doing too much eyeshadow. I'm probably just going to do like some brown and a lip gloss because, like I said, my outfit is really bright. But really what I want to talk about is being discouraged. I feel like I'm in a place right now where I'm really discouraged on YouTube and I almost be thinking like a couple of times a week that I'm going to stop YouTube. Like maybe I reached my peak. I reached my peak three years ago and that's it and I want to be done. Like... Because it's kind of discouraging to put all the work in as you do for YouTube and not get the same, um, I guess, views that you used to and stuff like that. And I know, like, my the thing that's crazy is my 
views are shitty as fuck for me to have as many subscribers as I have but my subscribers are growing so I'm like at this point I'm trying to figure out my target audience like I know before it was majority military like everybody wanted to know about the military but not even my military videos aren't doing as well and my vlogs are doing kind of better so I was like maybe my target audience has changed and I need to get back into doing vlogs it just kind of can get discouraging to the point where I feel like I just want to quit. Like, I just want to stop. But I know that when I started this YouTube, I could care less if I had 100 views, 300 views, 20 views. I literally just was excited to create content. So, I was like, I'm trying to get back to that person again because right now I'm just feeling really discouraged when it comes to a lot of stuff. Because, you know, like, I've been doing my business stuff since 2017, I believe. It's, like, been four years. And it's, like, it's hard to not, you shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't um look at other people's success and judge yourself off of it but it's kind of hard to not do that not that i'm i'm always clapping for other people because i feel like my time will definitely come but but it is kind of like damn that shit's dope like i can't wait for my turn but i've never felt no type of way about anybody else's success if anything i'm i'm rooting for people to be successful especially people that i've watched grow or people that i know have started a business and their stuff is taking off it's just like damn that's a blessing like that's that's dope as fuck it's just like more of a motivational thing for me but i'll be lying if i said that sometimes it's like damn i want my shit to pop up like what do i have to do better like i said more motivational standpoint of like what can i do better what can i do to bring more people to my channel what can i do to make my business take off like and i know that i haven't been consistent so i'm like you can't really even judge it because you haven't even been consistent on youtube to even feel like you should stop but i sometimes i do be feeling like i want to stop youtube like i'm like you know what i'm not getting the views anymore i put i'm putting in all this work and it's like not it's just not happening for me but at the same time you know like i said it's a passion of mine that i would do even if i didn't get paid from it and i was doing it for a long time without getting paid like i can care less about the money but i just want to be successful in in the things that i do i'm like i guess i'm like talking down kind of to myself i guess i mean like maybe i meant my peak maybe my time i wasted my time maybe my i wasted my, my peak time and maybe it's over but it's like i know that i can be great and I just need to focus, really. I just need to focus and be as motivated and as driven as I was three years ago. Like, three years ago is when my YouTube was probably at its peak. I had, like, about 30,000 subscribers, but I um, was, like, so motivated to post and, like, just had a lot of attention. But a lot of my videos are military-related. And it's not that I don't like talking about the military, right? But that's not all That's not all that I am. And I want to be more than just a military YouTuber because that's not what I started off being in the first place. It just started off a makeup channel. And then from there, I started vlogging because people wanted to see, like, Korea and stuff like that. So I vlogged. And this is the um, LA Girl Fit Me Pro Conceal. Yeah, so pretty much I vlogged. And then when I went back to Korea, you know what I'm saying, I had a big, big life switch. And I feel like I've been through a lot in the last couple of um what color is this it's a light oh it's still the light one in the last couple of months and basically my whole last year i went through a whole lot and it was hard for me to kind of bounce back and i feel like now i'm trying to like get my focus back i'm trying to get back in the groove of recording and being passionate about all what i do get it back to what my business is going on and those of you that watch my channel faithfully know that um, what happened and all that the Korea story time if you're new here I went through a whole lot the whole year the whole 18 months I was in Korea so like I kind of lost focus and I lost myself and I'm just trying to find myself again and I feel like I'm being really hard on myself that's probably what it really is is I'm just being super hard on myself but I just feel like for the amount of subscribers that I have it makes no sense to be getting a thousand views it's like damn what can I do so what I was thinking is, I need to bring something new to my channel. I need to change my target audience or find my target audience or just like bring something more exciting and interesting to my channel. I do have loyal subscribers and I thank all you guys that have continued to watch me over the years because I have been here for a while now. It's been like five years. So I appreciate everybody that's continuing to watch me and all the people that I helped join the military. Um, you know what I'm saying, that write me and be like, you're the reason that I joined the military. It's, it's dope to see you like growing up in the ranks and you're a staff sergeant now and all that. Like I started this channel specialist, like before specialist promotable. So, um, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people still look up to me and they like, it's pretty dope. I've been watching you for years and look at you like you're inspiring. So you're like, now you're leading soldiers. And before you, I met you when you were like, just a specialist, you know, trying to get up there and, and stuff like that. So I think I need to bring like something new to the channel. 
I'm gonna continue my vlogs. I'm gonna continue doing helping with military videos. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking about bringing a new segment to my channel and actually taking, you know, being serious with it and seeing how that how that changes my target audience, how that makes me or how makes my how it does on my channel. And even if it doesn't do super well off the bat, I do think it's something that I'm interested in. And I think it'll be pretty dope and fun to do. So I'm thinking about starting basically like a sweet things and I have done sweet things before but I'm gonna do this one in a different way so I'm gonna bring on a friend her name is Shay she has a channel here on YouTube um, her and her wife have a channel called the bell cartel and they do like you know like a little couple's channel whatever case may be but I'm gonna bring her on to the channel and we're gonna do like a sweet thing segment where we talk about kind of like Kind of, I want to say kind of like podcast style, like video podcast, but not podcast where you just talk over the thing, but video podcast style where um, they have like the little mic, but they're still talking. That's And I've had a couple of people tell me that I should that I should do this um, because uh, when they hear me talk or when I do my rants, they're like, they're like, you need to you need to talk about this publicly because your shit be fire. Like my rants on Snapchat are like the best and I have a lot of people that relate to what I'm saying. So they're like, you definitely need to like do this shit mainstream so i'm thinking about basically having a channel where we talk about self-love i mean not channel but a segment where we talk about self-love or somebody's advice or just like bringing different topics up that me and her can talk about in a way that um it creates conversation and i think it would be pretty dope because like i said i'm very opinionated she's very opinionated so maybe you know it I'm just going to start off the first couple episodes with her and if she decides that she wants to continue doing with me, that would be pretty dope. But if not, I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I have a lot of knowledge and I'm a very, like I, get, like I said, opinionated person. So it would be pretty dope um, to do my rant style videos that I do like on my Snapchat on my YouTube. Um, and the reason why I say podcast style is because I have a microphone. But I don't want to do like an actual podcast where it's no video, like video podcast. Um because i'm telling you if you're a youtube i mean if you're a snapchat follower of mine you can you know that i do these rants all the time and when i do these rants i have people rolling and i have people like agreeing they're like man you need to like can i repost this da, da, da. so i'm like maybe i should do this like bigger so i'm thinking about doing like i said a sweet stinks um video podcast type of videos like i said it'll probably be in here we'll I'll set this up i have my camera way back and i think it's pretty much this is a dope idea we're supposed to record our first video this weekend coming um it's done during outside like i said like this is great but still i'm still going i already got i already gotta go but you know just like um we're supposed to be recording our first video very soon so i'm super excited about that um yeah, I just think it was a, do a dope idea and just bringing something new to the channel that I haven't I haven't done in a while. Like I did a couple of sweet things, like like I said, like about three years ago, I did a couple of them. They did pretty well, but now I'm thinking about doing it in the aspect of like also bringing like um like things that are going on in the world. Like for instance, the baby situation, like having our own input on what we think. You know what I'm saying? And I think that will be pretty fun and a dope idea. So that look forward to the, that video coming you guys tell me what you guys think about it in the first video like i said i'm super i'm pretty excited about it um i've had somebody in my ear for a while telling me that i needed to do it like i um have really valid points and i was ba basically a very good debater and a ranter like i have very good like points in that i should bring it mainstream so i'm, I'm gonna take their advice finally and i'm going to actually do this video because like i said i'm very discouraged i'm in like a, such a weird place in my life right now um i get out of the army next year october so within almost within a year i could be out the army and i'm to the point where i'm in, like in a midlife crisis crisis i'm like damn do i want to re-enlist or do I want to get out? Like, has the army did what it's supposed to do for me? Like, I'm about to turn 27 years old. Like, I'm getting fucking old. So it's either I'm going to choose to do this for life. That's how I feel. Even though you got to take one enlistment at a time. I might either I'm going to choose to do this, you know what I'm saying, and use the army and continue to be sweet color and have my business and have my brand. Or am I going to get out and go full-blown business? But it's kind of hard to, like, jump out of something that you're comfortable in when um the other stuff that i'm doing like isn't taking off so my business isn't taking off not that it's bad definitely when i was doing it in korea i can tell you that's probably the best my business has ever been i was so motivated and so dedicated and so driven about my business that i lost that but it's my own fault so it's like it's hard to be like damn in a year i could be out of this and doing what i want to do but it's like what am i going to be doing i don't have a degree am i I'm, i wasn't 
uh, college up until I got had in my situation and I just fell off from that. Like, I fell off from a lot of shit. And I'm like, damn, I'm getting fucking old. And even though 27, it feels like old as fuck to a 27 year old. But to somebody that's 40 or somebody in their 30s, they're like, you're so fucking young. And I'm like, am I young? Because I feel old as hell. Like, I feel like I'm old as fuck and I should have my life together by now. And I don't. I don't. And it's like, to other people, they're like, bro, you're doing fucking great. Like, you're in the military, you have a fucking career. There's people out here that are doing the same shit they've been doing since high school. And sometimes I have to remember, like, you are doing fucking great. You have an apartment. You have a fucking car. You have two fucking dogs. You can feed yourself. Like, you're living you're living life. You're fucking independent as hell. Like, you're doing great. But I swear to God, a lot of people in the military, we feel like we're not doing shit with our life because we're not fucking happy. And I feel like maybe if I had a different fucking job, maybe. I use Morphe setting powder, though, too. I'm like, maybe if I had a different job, I had a different outlook on the military, you know what I'm saying? I'd really just be using it for what it's, it's using me and blah, blah, blah. But, like... I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't know what can make me feel like the military is great. Don't get me wrong. I could definitely see myself staying in for the fact that like, I like to mentor, I like mentorship. I like to mentor. I'm using this fucking brush y'all to do this fucking contour, which is not a contour brush, but we just gonna make it do what it does because I'm not getting up. So hopefully you can make it work with this foundation. I mean, this, um, eyeshadow brush, but yeah. Um, you know, I can see myself, a lot of people say, like, they can see me staying in because of my work ethic and just, like, how much I love mentorship and how much, like, I love soldiers and stuff like that. But, 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 I'm not going to lie. Am I extremely happy? No. But could I? I feel like the happiest, happiest and, and, and most miserable I was was this last um, year in Korea. But at the same time, the soldiers that I had made being an NCO so worth it. Like, I can understand. I understood a whole lot more once I had those soldiers and I was able to mentor their life I feel like that is a passion of mine is mentorship and being able to impact people's lives so even on my YouTube perspective and on my military perspective is being able to impact people in a positive way that helps them in life um, is a goal of mine and I, I really actually enjoy that part of being an NCO um, I don't I, like it's just so easy to some people and to some people it's just not some people is like this is a piece of cake like I can do this shit for 20 years and it's nothing the only reason that I'm like damn I low-key should just stay in is because what other job do you have like I'll say this in my other rant that you're done at like 40 something and you're like set for life you know what I'm saying at 40 something you're still young like you're not a young 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 buck but at 40 people are still living their fucking life they're traveling like I feel like you don't really get old until you're like in your 60s that's kind of old like 40s and 50s you're still living your life like think about it my mother is like 50 something and my mother is still she's still out here like living her best life like you know what I'm saying so I feel like you really don't, it depends on your you as a person is when you kind of like sit down and like, I'm an old lady, I just want to sit around. But like, there's people that are 45, that are 50, that are still working jobs they hate. So I can hate my life and be done at 40. But that's what I'm saying, I'm like in a midlife crisis, I'm like, is this what God had for me? Is this what, is this it? Am I supposed to stay in the military or am I supposed to get out? Like, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with my life. I feel like I'm in a midlife crisis in the middle of my 20s. I feel like I'm old as hell and I need to hurry up and figure out my life. Like... So like I'm dealing with that. I'm dealing with not feeling like I'm successful on YouTube any longer. Like I didn't fell off. Like I'm just just making videos for the fuck of it now. Like nobody cares anymore. But then when I do that, every time I have this negative mindset, somebody always writes me on YouTube on my Snapchat or something and it's like, I'm so glad you make videos. Like you help me out in my life. Like they send me fucking paragraphs, so it's like, that'd be that little push I need to be like, okay, I'm still relevant, like, I'm still, I'm still, like, helping people, right, you know what I'm saying? But my point is, don't get me wrong, I'll keep doing YouTube, and if 100 people watch me, 100 people watch me, 100 people watch me, that's still, when I was a small YouTuber, having a thousand views was a lot, but now that my YouTube is pretty much pretty big, I'm close to 100k, like, that's super, super close, but I'm definitely fucking, what, only have 25% left to go before I'm fucking there. Wait, actually, less than 20, probably like 20% before I'm at 100K. You know what I'm saying? So for me to have that many subscribers, it's like, damn, why the fuck am I not doing the views? What can I do better to drive the people to watch again? To drive the people to, you know, fuck with a kid? Because my personality is there. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? I like to have a good time. But I gotta also hold myself accountable because it's like, you ain't been you ain't been consistent. And there's an algorithm. So just because you started posting again doesn't mean that YouTube is gonna promote your videos. If you don't have really engaged following, then 
you know what I'm saying? Then it is what it is. So I'm like, I just want to, I'm going to keep going. Don't get me, I'm not going to quit. But sometimes I ain't going to lie. I do be like, you know what? I don't even want to do this shit anymore. Like, I'm done. But like I said, somebody always comes in and they're like, thank you for what you do. Like, you made me, you know, just watching your videos makes me have a good day. Or I miss your videos. Or where, when you, can we get a vlog? Like, there's somebody that's still, that's still watching. There's somebody that is a loyal subscriber. And I've made, like, dope friends off of this as well. Like, there's a couple of people that were subscribers that I've met that now we follow each other on social media and they're like, they keep up with my life and they're so proud of me. You know what I'm saying? It started off as they were just a subscriber. So I think I'm just, right now I'm just in a, I'm just in a very weird place. Like, part of me be wanting to stop. Part of me wants to get out the army. Part of me feel like I should stay. I'm just like, such in a wobbly place, but I just feel so freaking old. I'm like, damn, you're finna turn 27. What are you doing with your life? And I know I'm not the only one that feels like this. Like, I know... <laughs> I know, I know people are like, girl, I, I hear you. We're here in the same fucking boat. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to do some setting spray and some eyeliner and put on my lashes and some blush and then we're going to be done because we're just doing a little basic B, y'all. Just a little basic B. So, see, I'm going to use this blush from Revolution and I'm probably going to use this color right here. And I found a brush, y'all. So, I didn't found it. It's just in my bathroom. I didn't feel like getting up. Um... Got a little blush, you know what I'm saying? A little blush. But yeah, I think I'm just I'm just in a weird ass place in my life right now, and I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it. Out. I don't know what the hell I want to do. I don't know what the right answer is. And it'd be like, your life is already kind of made. You just don't like. It's like destiny. Like you know what I'm saying? It's already gonna be. You're gonna make the right decision that's for you. I guess. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know where my eyeliner is either. Like. Tequila bit this one and I don't have another eyeliner. So hopefully this works. I think it's dry. Oh no. Just don't mind my stuff, but I'm gonna use my um highlight palette. I clearly been doing it dirty and it's broken. But I'm gonna use this color right here to add some highlight to my face. Is this brush wet? It is wet. I'm so glad I did not push that into my skin. Add some highlight. Hopefully this light looks good. I don't even know. We'll see. I'll show y'all a better look from a different camera when I'm done. I have one individual lashes, so I know you're not supposed to put like lashes over your lashes, but sometimes they don't be dramatic enough. So I think I'm gonna have to do it. Hopefully my nail tech ain't watching this. I mean my lash tech ain't watching this video. Like again, if you guys need your lashes done and y'all in the Hinesville or um, Hunter Airfield, you know area, her link it will be in the description box if you need to get your lashes done. Period. Yeah, y'all. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to put lashes on because I don't. I wasn't gonna try not to wear lashes and just wear these individuals, but I can't find my eyeliner. So I'm gonna have to put on these lashes. And I know this is like against the rules, but are these even the right freaking lashes? I don't even know. Are these the same? Set that in real quick, honey. I need to do this damn wig, okay? I know y'all was looking at that part the whole time. I need to wet it, stick it down. It be not even down at all. I'm playing basketball. But pretty much, yeah, y'all, I'm about to put this glue on my lashes and let that get sticky. Sticky, icky, icky, icky. But yeah, so pretty much, I'm just in a weird ass place. I feel like I'm having a midlife 20s crisis, but I'm going to try um, bringing something new to the channel. See how that goes. I think it'll pretty, be pretty dope. And um, just continue to be consistent. And as far as me realizing what I'm going to do in the military, I have no fucking idea. If I should just get in or get out. Like my ETS literally is next year. So it's like... The time is for me to pick is now. And if I wait too long, that means, like, if you re-enlist while you're still enlist, like, you still have time, your year, so, like, if I re-enlist for three years today, time starts counting now. So, if I wait all the way until October, my, if I re-enlist for three years, it's going to start over, 
know what I'm saying? I, get, I, get, oh, I hope I explained that right. But basically, if I realize right now, and my, my contract that I'm in right now is not up, my new contract starts as soon as you sign your new contract. If the three years start. So, yeah, I can 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. So, 2024 is when I get out. But if I wait until 2023, I mean 2022, then I won't get out until 2025. If that makes sense. But, yeah, I don't know what the hell I want to get out. I don't know. I don't know. My makeup looks so good. I hope it looks as good in the camera as it does in this mirror right here. But yeah, if I had some eyeliner, I really would not put on any lashes, but I don't have any eyeliner, so I have to put on the lashes. Hopefully I don't mess up my lashes. All right, you guys, I'm gonna switch cameras to my vlog camera. I'm gonna show you what perfume I'm wearing. I'm gonna show you my full outfit and we gonna fix, you know, my hair and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay. Back about my business. You're gonna be back about the business. Period, 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 period. Okay, y'all, so this is the outfit. I just switched to my Canon G7X. Uh, I'm not Canon, I switched to the Sony DV1. Um, so this is my little outfit. That's a little romper, you know what I'm saying? A little cute, a little something. It's a little sexy silk, you know what I'm saying? Um, today I'm wearing the Carolina Herrera. I thought I was recording. I showed y'all be spraying it on and being all cute and whatnot, but then uh, I was recording. Um, but yeah, this smells real like sexy, real like, you know, grown woman status. Um, yeah, it smells really good. I really like it. Yeah, that's what, you know, I don't know what like today. You wanna know what I smell like? This Carolina Herrera, um, good girl. That's what I have on. This is how my, my makeup came out. Super soft and cute. Period. And this is shoes I'm wearing. This is black shoes with a red little flower on the bottom. And I'm wearing this purse. Boom, bam. Not gonna change my necklace. It's clean. Oh no, it's tangled up. I'm gonna change it to a silver necklace. So to match the hardware of my purse. I'm gonna change that out real quick. And I'm gonna put on a silver watch. Yeah, but that Carolina Herrera is definitely more on the um, grown and sexy side. Um, it's not really fruity, it's more like, it's just more like, I'm a grown woman, but still young. Not, I'm an old lady, not that old, okay. And then I'm gonna put on my silver watch. And then we got us a little, a little vibe or whatever. Period. 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 I like how it turns out. It turns out real cute. I'm gonna get my watch. Okay, that's it. That's all. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat. Get ready, me and me and being a little bit vulnerable and open up about how I feel. You know, feelings and shit. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.